Who won we a hold? Bus hold, yes. Bus on, bus on, in which way? No time to wait, it's almost too late. Yes, bus on, bus on, in which way? No time to wait, it's almost too late. Them that was Okonoro, track title, Bust Out, All That Men and Rockers. I want to give a shout out to all the people in the tri-state area, irrespective of your geographical location or your pigmentation. You are more than copacetically welcome and rockers. Without any ado, I'm going to share with you an interview that I was able to conduct with Dennis Brown a few weeks ago while he was in New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Brown and the Rootsman and Rockers. Tremendous pleasure to have the opportunity to speak with you. Sure. What's been happening? How is your career going? Like, bring me up to date, man, because I haven't seen you in a well, long time. I'm going to know what's happening, man. I've been touring mm -hmm. and still searching to find that special song. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. We're still working. Mm -hmm. You have been in the business for such a long time, Dennis. Man. I mean, like, how do you uh, feel about the progress that reggae has, uh, been, has achieved from you started in it? Well, um, Really has come a long way still, and even due to the fact that Bob Marley had passed up here, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm. The music got even more globally. So, reggae is, 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 is not to a class as a secondary music right, mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. It's not secondary anymore. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. How do you feel about, like, say, the, the type of lyrics like the dance hall or singers or, or DJs are utilizing? Different strokes for different folks. Right. You have people who accept those kind of lyrics and, um, you know, it, it's phases. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. this is a time for that kind of lyrics that people do appreciate. <coughs> You're in New York right now. Are you, you're, you're going to be working in another hour or so tonight, Saturday night, or the, in Manhattan. Uh, are you on, on a promotional tour? Are you? Do you have? What do you have? Any, any new materials out now? Yet? Like I said, do you have an album out? Or tell, tell us what's yes, happening. There's an album called mm -hmm. Kazmi mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that is doing the rounds right now. We're getting good response. Mm -hmm. What label is it on? Heartbeat. Heartbeat. Uh -huh. You know, then it's like, uh, you know, one of the things, I, I hope you don't feel I made me ask another question, you know, a man of your caliber, who is such a renowned reggae uh, you know, superstar, uh, there have been have a lot of young singers that's come up and getting a major label deals with some of the so-called major record companies. Why haven't we seen your albums or your music being released or marketed or distributed by some of these majors? I'm a contracted to the major labels. I don't see myself taking my product to any particular label mm -hmm. and ask for a deal. If it's like father's will, let it be done. Okay. I turn it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, uh, what has been happening since uh, since since you uh, terminate your association with, like, say, uh, the label that the AM yeah. label there? Because, like, I remember you were one of the first uh, reggae artists that, that got a major label deal and AM mm -hmm. Records. Right, so I mean, like, oh. well, since then I've been just searching. I hope I'm not being too find. inquisitive, you know. Right, I've experienced more prejudice, too. Mm -hmm. you know? um, that contract that terminated was not my part that we had to leave the company, but mm -hmm. there was certain internal problems <coughs> happening which was not resolved up until the time of the termination. I hear that. But since then, I've been working still in the studio, mm -hmm. in the Bronx, trying to find that. Are you working with any particular producers right now? Um, no, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, one of the things about your music that I find very, 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 very inspirational, right? I mean, where do you get your vibes or your, your inspiration to create or write certain, those type of lyrics that I hear in your song? Because when I listen to your point. music, I get to you. Point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you been in the music business, then? Like for the person who might know. Over 20. Over 20. Yeah. What age did you start in the business? Nine. Nine? Uh-huh. Yeah. But, but, I mean, like, did you see yourself from, from at that age that you had that, no. that gift or that potential no. or that you know, talent? I was just a lover of music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wanted to sing and wanted to share the stage with people like Slim Slim. Mm -hmm. 
Channel Cambodia, I will see Herald Dog, UIC, you need to go to Hanana Hanana. So the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, my next question, I guess you might have just answered it. What were some of the artists in, uh, in, in reggae music that you have admired? Almost all of them. Quality of music. Almost all of them. Mm. From Bob Marley, Bonnie Villa, Peter Tosh, King Bull, Bill Sidney, all of them. Mm. Do you remember the first song that you recorded? Yeah. Uh, when Love, was the title of it? Love Grows, a song done by the highest. Yeah, at what age did you record that song? 13. Yeah, who, was it, who, who did you? Um, Record for Cox and Dad. Mr. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Dad, I have a lot of music with you. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about Mr. Dad's contribution to the, to, the, to, to the development of reggae music? Well, I'll praise his new team still. Mm -hmm. And well, to God still first, you know? Mm. And then we still have to give him credit because he gave me the opportunity of uh, <laughs> one more time. I'm for July. I'm Dennis Brown. And I'm in June to Earl Chin on Rockers. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. 